What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Tyler 69 I know that was terribly a slur, but anyway, today I'm bringing you a uh, gameplay on the map. Damn, I really gotta get better with these map names. I really forgot. I'm sorry. Next time I'll try to remember. These maps are all like, I don't know. I just can't remember them. Probably because I don't like. I tend to not remember the maps I do not like. So I guess that has something to do with it. And today I'm bringing you a 61 and six. I believe this it is. I'm not too sure. This is leak play, by the way. I usually just play this with my uh, clan and whatnot when, uh, you know, when I don't want to play public. Because I feel like league play, for some reason, I do a lot better. I don't know why. It's just something that I've noticed. And, yeah, I did awesome. But I don't really want to talk about the gameplay. Today, I just want to talk about, it. did you guys see that Knicks game? Uh, I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm stupid. Yeah, it was yesterday. So I came home from basketball practice or whenever I came back. And, you know, I saw the game and I'm like, oh, wow. Because I saw where Gerald Wallace got, you know, suspended, I believe he did. I don't know if he's out for a couple games, but I know he, he got suspended for some reason. I, <laughs> I mean, I saw that and I was like, wow. But, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, the Knicks won the game by because of Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd hit that three at the end, which, you know, put them over to win, which is, you know, kind of surprised me because Jason Kidd hasn't done much this year. Uh, I don't know. They just, I guess they just look for him as more of a, you know, mentor slash veteran player, you know, to give his, like, wisdom or whatnot to pass it on to the younger players or the younger point guards of the league. Uh, not the league, the team. So, I mean, yeah, Jason Kidd's still a solid defender and whatnot. Not as good score as he used to be, but still a solid defender. Any way you look at it. And he's taken that shot before, so I mean, again, it's not that much of a surprise. I'm still a little bit surprised that he did it at this age, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, the greats are always good no matter... Well, not always. Most greats are good, you know, semi-good, even at old age. For example, I'm, I know I'm being real cliche, cliche with this one. You know, Jordan, I believe when he was 40, I'm pretty sure 40... Ah, I know it's like 40... And he scored like 42, 44 points somewhere along those lines. If I'm wrong, someone correct me, but I definitely know it was over 40 or 40, whatever it was, which is, you know, incredible for someone who's 40 years old. It's just something that does you don't really see. So, you know, it's pretty cool. And during this game, I got two swarm, swarms, which are 19 kill streaks if people yet didn't know. And yeah, I'm probably going to be showing you guys some more league play. I'm really good at it. Uh,. I had a win streak of 14, but lost it because the problem with league play is that once, like, uh, someone leaves the game on your team, no one joins back. So, like, your friends can't join or no one joins at all. It's just, you know, you're, you're screwed, basically. You have to make do with the teammates you have. And here I was a little scared. You know, I had my caps out and everything. Managed to get the kill there. And I ended up just calling my dog so my swarm would be guaranteed with the VSAT. Uh, yeah, it's my favorite setup. I know, you know, it's probably used by some of the bigger YouTubers, but, eh, whatever. I love this setup. It's really, for me, it's kind of really easy to get. It's not too difficult, so that's why I kind of like it. Especially in, like, objective modes. I don't really play it. I'm more of a slayer when I come to clans. That's what clans look, look at me for. More of, you know, shitload of kills. Piss off the team and make them leave. Sort of what my role on my clan is. Which is, you know, straight. And um, yeah, here I'm just going ham. And yep, yeah, I'll be bringing you guys some more of this gameplay. Like I said, sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I went to I had a one of the best naps I ever had. I went I had like a, it's not even a nap. It was just a hibernation. It was like 13 hours of just straight sleep. It's basically what it was. I was like, wow. And my player, I'll put it in in and out. You know, it's not really gonna be one of my top things. I'll still play it from time to time when I ever need a video up and whatnot. And I'll probably bring you guys a versus match on NBA probably either tomorrow or Friday whenever, you know, I have a chance. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can always message me, comment, anything you guys need, I'm, I'm here. And there's not too much. I'm pretty sure I, I don't know if I show you my stats at the end of the game. I probably don't. And here I'm just, you know, running around and whatnot. My team's already dominating them. Here my friend, my teammate saved my ass. It's pretty good. Anyway, just to finish off this commentary, right now, you know, just give you guys an update of who I think is going to win the 
status or whatnot. I feel like right now for the finals, it's actually honestly way too early still. I'm sorry I even brought that up. I don't. I don't really like the problem with the Knicks. A lot of people are saying the Knicks are gonna take it this year. I s somewhat disagree with that. I mean, yeah, sure they're doing good, but eventually, you know, they're gonna cool down. It's just a hot streak they had. But the team I'm really surprised about is the Lakers. Lakers have surprised me a lot. I didn't expect them to be, you know, doing as bad as they are. Not not necessarily they're doing awful, but they should be with a squad with a squad like that. They should be doing pretty damn good, not mediocrity, which they are performing. So yeah, this is your my your boy Troy for Life 69. See you guys later.